All right, guys, we're going to get into the Arbiter Vildred nerfs. So essentially, the only thing that is changing on Arbiter Vildred is his Dark Contract, which is on a five-turn cooldown. It's a passive. Basically, whenever Vildred dies, he regenerates anywhere from 70 to 100, depending on how upgraded the skill is, uh, health. It instantly takes his turn and increases his attack by 50%. <clears throat> while having a full focus bar and resets the cooldown of his ultimate attack. So normally when you do his ultimate, it's a pretty good AoE hit. Like, it's pretty hard, pretty solid, really good even in PvE. But in, when he gets his full focus, though, uh, it increases the damage dealt. And then every time an enemy is defeated, the cooldown doesn't occur for the skill, which is actually pretty damn stupid. And this is honestly my favorite ulti in the game, Dark Blade. Um, but anyways, so the nerf is basically you lose the 50% attack every time he comes back up. Um, personally, I think that the weird thing about this is I do agree that something needed to be done, but I didn't necessarily think a nerf had to be the issue. Um, there were a couple other ways, because honestly, Arbiter Vildred, he only has a couple hard counters, literally two. Number one is uh, Lilibet, or Lydica, but I forget which one of those stupid girl with the stupid scissors. Um, she can block res, so if she can one-shot Arbiter Vildred, it's GG uh, with her ulti. But otherwise, there's no other character in the game that can do that, so you would have to have something like a Crimson Armin to put invincibility up. And be like, okay, let's go kill him. Blam, he gets up, he does his thing, it doesn't affect most of your team. And other than that, this was actually just a very poor case by uh, Smilegate not to put any counters for this unit in. That's literally all it was. Uh, what I would like to have seen, rather than nerf his attack, um, you know, let's have some characters with some skills that react whenever Resurrection takes place. Because there's plenty of Resurrection in the game. So when Resurrection takes place, say, uh, whatever unit you want, like a Knight unit. Okay, someone res 20%... Uh, uh, barrier procs so it could help increase survivability or you know some type of like something that happens before Arbiter Vildred goes but unfortunately the way that 100% uh, combat readiness works even if that were to happen it wouldn't matter because he would just go again instantly no matter what same thing happens whenever uh, soul procs his extra turn it even it even goes before like phase changes in uh, abyss which are usually instant, so... Uh, this was just kind of just poorly made and unfortunately went a bit too far. Now, what I would have actually liked to have seen happen, though, if they were going to go this route, keep the attack but nerf the focus. So focus goes down to... cut it a percentage of whatever it was when he died. Or maybe something similar to that, because this can go off every five turns. So, he essentially has a guaranteed resurrection as long as he's not getting killed every five turns, which makes him super strong in PvE as well. And, I don't know, I just think it was another case of just... It was more a thing of there weren't enough counters in the game and they kind of put one in, but if you don't have her and you don't have invincibility group, which, what are you going to do, you know? And even if you do have it, you have them built. <laughs> And so it's just because honestly, a uh, little bit. She's she's useful for some things. Don't get me wrong, but she's not as useful as like Crimson Armin was, and still will remain, in my opinion, after her nerf. So that's my opinion on it. But I still think Arbiter Vildred is one of the not only the coolest characters in the game, but one of the premier characters in this game, uh, even after the nerf. As far as being just like a stone cold killer and really good at what he does. So, uh, personally, if I had him, I wouldn't trade him. I would actually trade for him if I had one of the other units. But that's just me. So, let me know what you guys think. Are you planning on trading him, or are you gonna keep him? Are you gonna give him some shine? Let me know. And we will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.